thinking. I don't know what you were thinking when you chose that stage. Yeah, you bet too. I don't know what you were thinking when you chose that stage. That was like the one stage I would have kind of picked too. <laughs> Okay. No, hey, 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 you're supposed to ban a stage. There was, you had two stages left. You were supposed to ban a stage so he could pick the next one. Wait, what? It's, it's one, two, one, and you just did yeah. one, two, pick a stage. Well, this is not the same thing. No. <laughs> unless you were, unless you were banning FD. Wait, you just banned your stage first! Like, yeah. oh wait, wait, I'm banned first, I'm banned first, I'm banned first. Fuck! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now ban a stage. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we got Tuff versus Falco. Now, I generally think this is an even matchup, but I think it could, it's generally argued in favor for uh, uh, Falco. Now, uh, I don't really have much to say about Puff's neutral game, particularly Charlie, since a lot of it has to do with um, retreating back airs on shield and trying to space it so that it properly gets within that range. A lot of Puffs will preemptively uh, back air on top of Falco or on top of characters to get that jump out of shield. Um, or just jump in general, and that yields uh, really good results against characters like Falco who don't have the best recovery. And they want to get in that edge guard position. Oh, alright. <laughs> um, not much to say about that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, lasers are particularly good, uh, are good at this matchup. Uh, they're not the best since Puff generally can either crouch or jump above them, but they're good for controlling the aerial space around them and generally controlling the space that Puff tries to move, so as long as you don't do anything stupid, <laughs> then you, you'll generally be able to do well in that. In that situation, I would have either gone for the Shine Down Air or charge F Smash. I think the guaranteed damage at that point is much more important. And there you have, I don't know what you're saying there, I don't think I need to comment say anything how bad that was, but anyway, uh, alright, fuck you, Charlie. No, that was just really bad. I'm not con- no, stop. That was just really disrespectful. <laughs> At the very least- Yeah, alright, so anyway. Uh, generally, that's a really bad place to try to recover against Puck, and Puff almost 9 times out of 10, especially against uh, players of that caliber, will try to cover that option, the immediate jump. So what you want to do, especially as Falco, is either you want to side B as low as possible, so pretty much jump and immediately side B without waiting for the full jump to come out, or you just dip low and do the low firefox, try to be as vertical as possible, and that's the hardest to edge guard. So, uh, Aikawa wins game one. So this is Falco's best stage in the tournament, in my opinion. Pokemon Stadium being the second one, but uh, this is probably the worst. Uh, but, um... Yeah, you're really picking the World of Two Poisons, because I don't think Pokemon Stadium is really that much better. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, basically you just really have to hit those attacks. There's really no, because Puff doesn't have the greatest aerial speed, so if you, uh, so Charlie, because he's so incompetent on how to deal with lasers, decides that instead of actually dealing with the proper way around lasers, he decides to taunt instead and think he's cool. So, and he dies for it, as he should. And that is my analytical commentary for that. So, anyway, um, so since uh, when Puff up throws the top platform, it's a hard read if you get the test, uh, because, um, uh, because, uh, a Puff's Aerial Drift makes it so that she can cover all options. So, but when you cover second place, she can react on, 
is go on reaction. So you need to tech it tech properly, and then that way you'll be at least be able to avoid uh, uh, more of the options that way. Um, now, when you are generally against Puff, it's it's bad to try to challenge her from above, as per any character in the game. Uh, just a bad dash attack, uh, as per any character in the game. So I generally don't like challenging Puff going down, unless I'm going down with a down air, just because... And I have to make sure I get the L cancel when I do it, just because it's just really unreliable. Um, uh, just because if I miss it uh, down air, then I just get, you know, up the rest of it, and I don't like that. Uh, so generally I try to go under, or, or horizontally, and hope that works for the best. But trying to challenge Puff, like, from the vertical, is generally a bad idea. Uh, so, lasers should be used for uh, extracting openings in this matchup, but they're not always used for openings. Uh, they can be generally used to restrict the Puff's movement so you can actually get a grab, so to force that pressure on you. Uh, that was actually a good grab for once that Charlie did. Uh, winner of that match. Oh. You beat DC? Uh, 2-0? Uh, okay. <laughs> Someone beat DC. Okay, uh, you play against him, Mike. Yeah, let me... Yeah, let me, uh... Yeah. Loser semis. <laughs> yeah, loser semis, yeah. So am I,